Happy day six! Happy day six of the 12 days of Stitch Miss Friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tagalily Designs. Welcome to day six. Yay! Are we having fun? This is the halfway park. Welcome to halftime. Almost. It's gonna be great. Don't be sad. We still have six more days. Plus today. I'm having so much fun. I hope you are too. I hope you're finding new small businesses, new enabling, new things, maybe starting a new craft because I added yarn to the crazy world of my Floss Miss channel and now we're Stitch Miss, all the things. But today I've got another two small businesses that are super great to share with you as well as a fully finish featuring one of those small businesses. So let's just dive right in, shall we? Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a heads, heads up this is an alumni. I love when, when people graduate from Flossmas 2021 and they're back with a vengeance for Stitchmas 2022. And this is one of those purse companies. Emily Call from Salt and Pepper Stitching. Now, if you don't know, you know. But I am gonna just show you a little bit of something. Clip away as we like to do. So last year, this is the... And can you see down here, down below, that's where Dabo ate my tree or ate the ornament. Dogs like to eat ornaments. Newsflash. Took it off the tree and ate it. That's okay. It's now a story. But this is the sweet design that we featured last year during Floss Mist. And this is how I found Emily and salt and pepper stitching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip away and show you guys her Instagram and her Etsy shop. So you show you some of the favorite things. Stitching. Now, if you were here for Floss Miss of 2021, you remember Emily Call. That is her name. She is the woman behind Salt and Pepper Stitching. And here we are on her, her Instagram page. I just want to go ahead and, you know, she timed this perfect. Here's her little introduction so you can get do a little get to know her. She tells you a little bit about her story. She's Emily. She lives right near Salt Lake City, Utah. She is a wife and mom of five. Her shop is named after her nine-year-old boy and girl twins because their coloring is so different. They call them the salt and pepper twins. It is super sweet. So she's been creating and designing her whole life. About a year ago, she started designing cross-stitch patterns. And so last year we had, I featured a super sweet Santa. He's on pink. I'll show you during today's episode. But I also wanted to just show you, she's been releasing so many things. You need to follow her Instagram page. But today, we're going to show you some of her fantastically new, fabulous Christmas designs. And so she's got these sweet little, they finish up so quick. Look at these cute little tidbits. And then she's got this gingerbread house. So if you don't follow her on Instagram, oh, she had a freebie for Thanksgiving. How sweet is that? So give her a follow on Instagram. Where she sells her patterns is on Etsy. So you can pop over to Etsy and like I said, you're going to see some of the things she's got her newer designs featured at the top right now. Looks like she's got 52 digital download patterns ready to go. Um, this is a couple of them that are new for this year. This sweet little dress for Christmas, little girl under the Christmas tree. That is a super sweet little stitch. And then of course, I love a good Mr. and Mrs. Claus pairing. So this is a cute little finish. It's a square little pattern. Let's see how big that one is. Oh, it's 30 by 30. Super sweet and fast. I bet two inches by two inches finished. So you could pop them and make them one of these cute little finishes for one of those mini Christmas trees, or you could put it on a bigger count and make it bigger for your bigger Christmas trees. And of course she does things all year long, she's got this cute Uncle Sam from last year. So if you want to get ahead for 4th of July stitching, she had some grant fantastic Halloween, or if you're not so much Christmas, but you want to get ready for the snow time, look at these little snowman friends, Mr. and Mrs. Snow Friends. They are so adorable. One more Santa, because, you know, you can never have enough. This is different than last year's Santa, and he is definitely on my to-do list list. So give Miss Emily Call a follow and check her out if you don't know or haven't stitched anything of hers yet. 
Okay, did you see something you haven't seen yet? Are you making sure that you follow her on Instagram and favorite her Etsy shop because she's always coming up with new things. Obviously, she's been super busy here in 2022, coming up with so many things all the time, and they're all fantastic. So, as I mentioned, she is a featured designer. Obviously, that's why we're talking about her because she's fabulous. But she has donated two patterns again today, both from her new December holiday collection. One of them is the Peace on Earth, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then the other one is that cute little Santa. It's kind of like this guy. I can't show you because all I have is the chart printed out and I don't want to show you the chart, but it's kind of like this guy, but maybe as a teenager, maybe as a young, he's a little bit different. He's a lot different. He's enough different for me to want to stitch him as a companion piece to this guy, but it was one of those. So it, it's this and he has little stuff around him. I wish I could show you, but that one, that's the other pattern. So you have your choice. If you're the daily winner of today's giveaway, you get to choose whether you want peace on earth or the little snowman, as well as the grand prize giveaway. You also get your choice of which PDF you want Emily to send you that remember. Okay. Word of the day before we forget snow. I have to remember because I look right before I press record to make sure that I don't forget. Okay. Day six is nine down snow. Make sure that you're entering snow in your crossword puzzles, friends. Do you have your crossword puzzle print out? Do you not know what I'm talking about? It's okay. You got plenty of time. Go back to day one. I give you all the details of what this crossword puzzle does. This is how you get entered into the grand prize. The grand prize is getting a prize added to it every day during the 12 days. So it is snaztastic, if I do say so. The grand prize box, there will be a grand prize stitching box as well as a grand prize knitting or crocheting or yarn box. Um, so there's two different grand prize boxes as well as two different daily giveaways. Can you believe it? 12 days of giveaways? That's what I should have called it. But anyway, Emily Call, fantastic. Let's just go ahead and dive, switch gears into the fully finished for today because yes, friends, it's an Emily Call. This is her. One day I'm going to remember to bring a backdrop so the daggone camera will focus. But this is the piece on earth. This is the ornament. I stitched it up. This is on 16 count. Picture this plus Ada. It's a color I can't remember off the top of my head. But all I did is I pulled from stash. I went and I grabbed two reds, a kind of a bright orangey red, a more fire edging red, two greens, the chartreuse green, and the more pine tree green, a white, and I think that's it. Those are the colors, friends. Super easy to pull from stash. Get stitching. This I think I stitched up in a football game. Maybe two. Maybe one and a half. Did not take very long at all. And then, of course, I finished it in my new, can you tell I have a cord making problem? Um, I am loving making this cord. And so I another custom cord dmc credit cord make it do it sticky board sticky board put it on the back add a little charm add a little 2022 charm a bell a ribbon and she's done not even less than a day less than a day i mean all day but totally doable and totally sweet. I think that Emily has this finished on her Instagram page as a pillow, which is also super adorable. Totally almost did that. But since I'm having a cord love right now, there's going to be a lot of ornament finishes because sorry, not sorry. Okay. That is the finish for today. That is the word of the day. That's the feature. Yay. Moving right along. Yes. Okay, sometimes my brain is like way behind. Where are my things? Anyway, today, now I've got a, another yarn business for you. So this is a hand dyed yarn dyer from sunny, sunny Florida. That's how they describe it and I love that. The name of the company is Three by the Sea Designs. It is a mother and 
two daughter trio that are hand dyeing yarn, making project bags, making stitch markers, doing all the things that you need for your fiber art yarn fun. And so right now I'm gonna clip away and show you their Instagram page and their Etsy shop. And we'll be right back to look at some of their project bags ah, in real life and some yarn. Today's featured hand dyed yarn dyeing company is three by the sea designs. We're going to start over here on their Instagram page. Three by the sea is a mother daughter trio of drama, Becky and Kim, and they all work together. The three of them live in sunny Florida and they love all things yarn and stitch markers and project bags and all the things that have to do with knitting and crochet and all. And you need to check out their page. Their Instagram feed is full of yummy, yummy goodness. And they're always showing you something fun. They're showing you their actual yarns in action, being stitched up on some of their socks. Their handmade stitch markers are super adorable, as well as their handmade project bags. I love supporting a mother daughter, daughter, trio team. They have some great things. So make sure you give them a follow on Instagram. When you go to their link tree page, you have even more options of how to check them out. They not only have a sweater weather sock pattern, which is fantastic. They have an Etsy shop, a maker's Facebook group, and a Facebook page, as well as their own YouTube podcast. Let's dig into the YouTube first. So first you come over to YouTube and they're going to show you their shorts, little behind the scene. They also have a knitting podcast that, that they just started. Let's see if we can go back to episode one, but here you can see them. They're so cute. So they started 10 months ago and it's mainly they're giving you shop updates. They're showing you some of their unique handmade designs. This is one of the daughters that is showing you all the things that whether what she's working on, what they've got in the shop, what they're coming, such fun eye candy. Definitely add them to your playlist if you want to check out some fun knitting podcasts. Now let's get into the yarn. So like I said, they have a fantastic Etsy shop, which is where they sell their yarns and their stitch markers and their bags. And they're always coming up with something fun. Right now it's Christmas all things Christmas. They have some fantastic, all the different weights, whether it's fingering or DK color is fantastic. And it tells you, it gives you all their yarn bases. So cute. They named their yarn bases after cities in Florida, Sanibel, Coquina, Destin, Venice, San Augustine. I love the originality of this small business. And so not only can you get, you know, their winter update yarn. So here you go there and you can see all their yummy yarns, their shiny brights and sugar plums and mulled wine. Oh my goodness how again can you tell this is this is I think going to be my next sweater color this cranberry the wine color or you know I'm always a sucker for these ivy this Stellina such a yummy yummy color they have so many gorgeous colors to choose from all the different weights that you will need. But what's also unique about them is not only are they yarn dyers, but they also hand make their own stitch markers. And if we know anything about us fiber arts people, we love our accoutrement and making sure that all of our things are fun and pretty. And look at these cute, these little cows and the teas and the coffees. So cute and unique. They might be all sold out of the Christmas ones. I know that I saw on their um, winter update charms. Here we are. They're on their Instagram page. I was sucked into so many of these cute little pieces. These, like I said, accoutrement are exciting. So you have your option of a lobster claw, a solid ring, or a back lever back clasp, like one of those earring clasps. So you have your preference. They make it for you and get what you want. 
But I just love the clay ones are my favorite. They have not only the enamel ones, but then they also have these like three dimensional. Look at this sweet. I mean, what a cute gift. Look at this stitch marker. I think I need to add it to cart. These sweet little Christmas cupcakes, single charms are adorable. And they're, I think they're made from polymer, polymer clay. Dress it up includes, yes, polymer clay charm. Listen, I did polymer clay in my previous life and it is no joke. It's a lot of work to, to, oh, look at this pie. So sweet. So they have so many cute and unique, one of a kind, like, you know, enamel pins are adorable and I love them, but you can get those. Those are these, these polymer clay. Oh my goodness. Look at this Christmas cake. Okay. I'm going to stop. Can you tell? Maybe I need to eat. <laughs> But this, it's just so sweet. There you are. You get the scale of it. I love when people take that into consideration when they're taking photos. Scale matters and it's hard to get scale in a photo, but that is perfect. Little slice of Christmas cake. What a fun little stitch marker. Perfect for your project bag of a Christmas project. Treat yourself. So hopefully you found something in this three by the sea designs Etsy shop, Instagram, and happy shopping, friends. Wasn't that fabulous? Did you find something? Did you give him a follow? Make sure you go give him a follow on Instagram and or Etsy. Did you see? I know. I need to. I think the problem with every time I do one of these walkthrough things is I end up putting a couple too many things in my cart from Etsy because I just want them all. I so a, I love supporting all the small businesses and I know that. I love it. And B, their stuff is so daggone cute. It's so cute and original. And anyway, let's see. You, you want to see some in real life? Because I want to show you some. All right. So the sweet ladies at Three by the Sea Designs did not disappoint. And they sent us a fabulous assortment of their products so that you can see them in real life. Now, I'm not going to take... Let's do it. I wasn't going to take this out of the project bag or out of this plastic because I wanted the recipient to say to get it brand new, brand new gift for you. But as a project bag maker, I'd like to show you the quality of said bag. So let's, let's, let's look, shall we? I'm excited. First of all, packaging is gorgeous. Fantastic. Has a lovely handle what you need. It is a nice four inch gusseted bottom. So it's perfect to put your projects in and it's nice and padded. I can feel. So this fabric is not quilted content. This is like decorator weight, heavier weight fabric. It is a super sweet fabric choice. It's like a twill canvas, like a duck cloth canvas. She probably has it in the description of what it is, but as a fabric person, I like, Oh my Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So high, high, high quality, lovely label pocket to hold your, you know, so your needles and your stitch markers don't get lost in the bottom of the bag because mine do sometimes, but it's beautiful. And it's also gusseted on the inside, beautiful coordinating quilting cotton lining. Stitches are straight and beautiful, and I love it. She adds a nice little zipper pull charm. Gorgeous. The quality of this bag is fantastic. The winner of today's giveaway, so here is, let's just show you. This is their... Well, you know, the camera is not participating today. But three by the C, I will have all their information as always down below in the description box showing you guys the links to their Instagram, their Etsy, all the things. They have a lot of project bags in stock ready to ship now. So are you shopping still for the holidays? Because maybe somebody in your life needs a project bag or maybe you do. Super sweet, lovely quality. So the winner of today's daily giveaway, project bag. I know. Can you believe it? So remember the day, the word of the day, you're going to want to use the word of the day down in the comments below, and you're going to want to use the word snow and stitch. 
if you want to win the pattern from Emily Call, and you're going to want to use the words snow and knit if you want to win the project bag. Now, you don't have to be a knitter. This could definitely be a cross-stitch multi-project cross-stitch bag, but it's gusseted. It, it, the concept is more of a knitting project bag, but hey, project bag's a project bag, and it's gorgeous. So maybe you want to put knit even if you're just a cross-stitcher. I'm just saying. It's pretty fabulous. So that is today's giveaway. But now let's look at some of their yummy yarn that they sent us. Okay, they sent us two different colorways just so we could see their beautiful selection. Now I showed you guys during the walkthrough that they named their bases based on cities in Florida, which I think is fantastically adorable and unique. Love it. So these are both the Sanibel base love it. So this is the Sanibel base, which is their fingering 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. So they sent us two different colorways. Both of them are part of their Christmas collection. This, I'm going to hold it here because the camera is, it's cooperating more better here. Um, if you ever want to see the photos, I do put photos up on Instagram. I take unfiltered so you can try to get as good as the color as possible. But of course, you know, go to their website. They take the pictures of their products way better. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, multicolor, bright but white, subdued. It's called All Bundled Up. And it's their fingering skein, 463 yards. They also sent the Christmas 2022 sock set, which is fantastic. So you've got a full skein of the shiny bright, which is 463 yards per 100 grams. And then you have two mini skeins of jingle, which is green, and jolly, which is pink. Heels, toes, cuffs, adorable. I love the thoughtfulness of putting too many skeins with the full skein, so you can definitely get a pair or two of socks out of this set, and it will be so cute. And of course, pink and green look great together all the time. And this main colorway, which they're calling shiny and bright, that's exactly what it is. It's just shiny and bright and happy and Christmas baubles. Love it. So they also sent us, just so we could see, two of their stitch markers. So sweet. We've got the gingerbread enamel collection, which is a pair of a gingerbread man and a little gingerbread house. And then we have this sweet little snowman stitch marker. So sweet. So today we're going to go ahead and throw this snowman stitch marker in the grand prize giveaway. And remember the daily giveaway is that project bag. So that is day six friends, two fantastic businesses, stitching and yarn and projects and bundles and all the things. I hope you're having fun. I hope you had some great stitching while we were sitting here chatting. And again, I will see you tomorrow for day seven of Stitchmas. Happy Stitchmas, friends!